Hi everyone, so today I wanted to make a guide for beginner hunters in Monster the World. Uh, it's a very basic guide, it's like five basic steps to just start yourself up in Monster Hunter. Uh, I don't think anyone's really gonna dispute any of these, just cause they're really, they're basic as fuck. Um, but some of these will be more useful in Monster the World because of some different things they change up in there. Um, and I'm pretty sure all of these go for pretty much all the Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter games, so they're probably using these in all the games. So anyway, let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do in Monster Hunter when you, you know, start up the game is kind of learn all the weapons. Or not learn all the weapons, but try all the weapons out. Kind of see which one you like, which one you don't like. Kind of get a feel for them. Uh, try some combos out. And kind of go off from there. Uh, a good beginner weapon would definitely be the Sword and Shield. I personally don't like it very much. But it's a, it's good for starting uh, hunters. It's, uh, it lets you eat while your weapon's still out. It's pretty fast. It gives you some defense because of the shield, and it kind of it's good platform for jumping off from there. Uh, so yeah, go out there, try all the weapons out with your while you're doing the tutorial. And in Monster Hunter World, they also give you kind of a combo list in the book that you got, a little map thing, so you can just kind of figure stuff out from there. Uh, next tip, I would highly suggest that you gather as much as possible early in the game. Like, gather a fuck ton. Gather everything, from bugs, to dung, to rocks, to... I don't know. Like, just everything. Uh, gathering early game is really, really important, because you're gonna need a lot of that stuff for uh, making traps, making flash bombs, making a bunch of different other stuff. Also, a lot of that stuff also goes into weapons, uh, armors, stuff like that, and... You will hopefully won't be running out of too many resources uh, like early or late late game. I mean, early, mid, or late game because you know you gathered a bunch. And if the game has a farm, I highly suggest also leveling that up too because you can get a bunch of resources from the farm too. Um, but yeah, so just gather as much as possible early in the game. Um, find where all the spots are and just pick as much up. I highly suggest also getting a lot of honey just so you can make a lot of mega potions. And just basically just bring a fuck ton of resources back home. That's the second tip. Uh, third tip for Monster Hunter. Uh, this is a very important one. Learn the fuck out of the map. And this is very important for Monster Hunter World because in Monster Hunter World, the map is really big and there's a bunch of different stuff in the in that game to kind of lead the monster to like say flash bugs or you know traps with the little tree vines and stuff like that. But this is really important for pretty much all Monster Hunter games. You don't want to fight a monster in tight corridors or, you know, places where you're being slowed down. You're going to be hit by all the monsters. You kind of want to lead them away from that. You kind of want to bring it into a place where there is uh, room to fight. And you also want to memorize their, uh, like, where they sleep, where their food resources. Like, say you're fighting Arakuga and you're... You lost track of it, and you know it's weak. It's probably gonna go back to its nest asleep, or it's gonna get food. So you gotta find the little deers. Next tip, really important. Remember to go out on a hunt prepared. Be prepared. So flash bombs, dung bombs, paintballs, wet stones, uh, food like you know rare steaks or or, or well done steaks. Be prepared with potions, mega potions. Traps if you're gonna capture the monster and tranquilizer bombs to put it to sleep. You all as this is very 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 important if you're if you're a gunner or someone with a bow because you want to have a lot of uh, like different bullets on you as well. There's a bunch of different stuff. You just be prepared for the hunt. Bring items, get ready, and do as best as you can with all the resources you have. Uh, learn from me because I purposely like to make it harder for myself and not go out there with. Uh, as many items as possible, because I'm a tryhard, as you can see from our live streams. But yeah, don't do that. Don't, uh, especially if you're a beginner. Don't, don't do what I do, because I'm an idiot. Uh, last tip, very important tip: memorize the monster, learn the monster, know its weakness, learn where it sleeps, learn what it eats, uh, learn its combat patterns. Uh, if it charges, does it stop? At some point, if it fireballs, does it open itself up for an attack? Is it? Vulnerable when it's um, flying in the air for a quick smack and run away kind of thing. Just watch how it fights. Don't just run in there and be like, ha, whack. Just watch it first, watch how it fights, and learn when it's a good time to hit him. And try to avoid getting slammed by one of the heavy hits, like the Sinaraku's tail. 
Like, you gotta, you gotta look out for certain attacks that, are, like, could borderline one KO you. And this last one's kind of a, just an extra tip for anyone who has been playing the game for a while. Uh, you don't need to do it. I wouldn't, su I, I wouldn't suggest if you're, if you're new at the game to do this, but... Challenge yourself. Kind of, when you're... A, when you're fighting a monster and you've gotten so used to them, try not bringing so many items to uh, to fight it. Just see how well you do with just potions and just, you know, hitting it. Um, again, this is something I personally do and I find that it makes me better when I see... When I when I start fighting the monster with just, um, say, my weapon and a few potions. And then I have to uh, make up for the lack of items myself. Uh, I wouldn't suggest this, I suggest this at all for anyone who is new to the game. But anyone who's uh, been playing the game for a very long time, try challenging yourself a little bit just to see how well you can do when you don't have the items. And then when you do start using the items, watch your skill kind of change. It's a little, it becomes a little better because you kind of gotten used to fighting the monster without the items. Um, not everyone agrees with this, and I understand why. It's just a thing that I personally like to do. But yeah. Also, really quick, I want to say thank you very much to all the people who left really long, lengthy comments and had a legit conversation in our last Monster Hunter video where I talked about things that I wanted to see in Monster Hunter World. I really appreciate you guys, so I wanted to just like, you know, let everyone see the nice comments. Some of them were really, really long. I didn't read them. I'm just like really weird about commenting back about like long comments. I don't know what to say sometimes, so instead I just decided to just kind of put you guys on the video. I hope you guys don't mind. Anyway, thank you.